I believe you'll either be explaining to your grandchildren what freedom was or what censorship was. I believe freedom of speech is the backbone of all the other freedoms. I believe censorship is a pesticide against the human spirit and it's better to keep your spirit organic. I believe that only people who have something to hide will work relentlessly to censor those who speak truth. I believe fear is the virus and bravery is the immune system. I believe letting algorithms guide your human interactions is like using soy to make meat substitutes. It's not the real thing. Plus, tofurkey's gross. I believe that either the matrix is a metaphor for life or life is a metaphor for the matrix. But either way, a red pill a day keeps the authoritarians away. I believe encrypted messaging is at least as important as being able to go to the bathroom with the door closed. It's no one else's business but yours. Sorry, NSA. I believe freedom of speech requires you to tolerate all speech, not just the speech you agree with. I believe disobeying unjust mandates should be as intuitive as not eating rotten food. I believe the solution for bad speech isn't no speech, it's more speech. Just like the solution for bad sex isn't no sex, it's more sex. I believe the most valuable currency is human connection. Bitcoin is number two. I believe centralization keeps you in the captivity of someone else's cage, and decentralization crushes the cage and sets you free. I believe fact checkers are an insult to human intelligence. And they'd benefit humanity more if they spent their time planting flowers. I believe the only place censorship has in society is in silent meditation retreats. Even that's questionable. I believe that if every once in a while you're not asking yourself which side of history you're on, then you're probably on the wrong side of history. I believe free speech is what fertilizes intelligence. I believe tech companies should not have your personal data because they don't deserve it. And it's called personal data for a reason. I believe if you don't pay for the product, then they're making you into the product, even though they don't tell you that. I believe new companies pledging not to censor their users isn't good enough. Companies that can't censor their users is the answer. I believe freedom is the gift that makes life worth living. I believe it's time to wake up and take massive action so your grandchildren won't have to be told what freedom was. Your words, actions, attention, and voting with your money matters. It's time to be bold, brave, live in integrity with your heart, and alignment with freedom. The time is now, my friend. Have you seen that? People are here in Florida? Yeah, it's terrible. It's almost like everyone here is a new slave. It's a complete disaster. I'm worried about everyone here because there's no one trying to control them. Do you think there's any hope? Well, in the next election cycle, like, oh, it's possible Florida could get flipped blue. Let's hope so. I care about the future of my children and grandchildren. I don't want them growing up and never knowing what communism's like. Did you know Florida is the most open state in the country? People must be dying left and right. The fact that people in Florida have such high case rates of selfishly living makes me very worried about the mainstream narrative. Same. I find that what's good for people is bad for the mainstream narrative. And I'm very concerned that Florida is putting the good of the people ahead of the good of the mainstream narrative. DeSantis is not living up to the standards of Newsom and Cuomo. Yeah. Newsom got challenged in a recall election and Cuomo got canned as governor. But at least he's no longer governor because of how he sexually harassed women instead of how he killed people. Yeah. That way it's like the lives that were lost because of him don't matter. And if they don't matter, then no harm, no foul. It's like DeSantis is doing the opposite of the respectable governors. He's doing things that save lives. <laughs> Not reducing the population. You know how bad that is for the planet? Yeah. I watched Bill Gates' TED Talk. DeSantis is completely disrespecting the pharmaceutical industry's business for these people to serve themselves. Right. He's allowing people to use a much experimental drug that's very effective, but unfortunately not very profitable, called Ivory. I wouldn't say that with the camera rolling in by you. And he's also got clinics set up to save lives with Marco. Also best not to say, but at least the Biden administration is blocking the distribution of it. Thanks, Stalin. Someone stepping in to save people from life saving treatments. Did you know DeSantis banned mandates that force people to be penetrated by a phallic object, which then ejaculates foreign substance into their body against their will? I wonder why DeSantis doesn't support rape. Do you think people should be in control of their own bodies? Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby don't agree with that. And 
because he was released from prison early, which means his way of doing things is right, and DeSantis is wrong. I'm pretty sure the only reason why DeSantis treats people the opposite of how Cosby treats them is because Cosby is black. Oh my god, DeSantis is a racist? No, Cosby is. DeSantis is a racist. I think you're right. That's probably why he's banned school so he can fix to be racist through critical race theory. That guy is so conniving. Do you know Florida's offering police and firefighters who were fired in other states because of mandates? jobs and a $5,000 signing bonus? What's DeSantis going to do? Open ports so people can buy goods and businesses can function again? He's actually doing that. Oh, he's ruining Biden's whole plan. I don't want to accuse DeSantis of anything wrong, Floyd, but now, uh, I shouldn't say it. Oh, you can say it. No, I shouldn't. You can tell me. Uh, unless I have proof. I don't want to wrongfully accuse anyone of anything. Come on. No, please. Okay. I don't think the Santos likes the idea of letting our democracy fall into socialism. That scumbag! Remember, I don't have proof. I don't want to spread any rumors. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you're right. DeSantis called for transparency with how the Chinese Communist Party is funding universities. That reminds me. I heard a rumor that he cares about his country. It's not a rumor. DeSantis served in the military. Oh my god, it's like he's hating this country by not hating this country. I'm confused about something. If having your rights taken away gives you a better quality of life, then why are people from New York and California moving to Florida? I think it's because the living conditions in Florida are worse. Really? Yeah, you know how bugs are so dumb that they'll fly into a light even though it's really bad for them? Yeah. Well, I think humans and bugs have about an equal IQ, which makes humans do the same thing. And people are so stupid. No wonder we need authoritative people with drug company ties to tell us how we should live our lives. People and profits would be doomed without them. Until we can get DeSantis impeached for putting people before profit, do you think there's anything we can do to protect ourselves and our children that we unfortunately didn't abort? Yeah, forcing children to wear a mask while they sleep should make up for how Florida schools don't do it. By the way, who's Brandon? I don't know. I think he's just some guy that most people in our country really love. I hate our country. Well, no one hates it more than Brandon. I'm sorry to bring this up. Apology accepted. But I think DeSantis hates women. I already believe you, and why is that? Because he signed a bill banning biological males from competing against women in women's sports. It's terrible! I think protecting women is the same thing as oppressing women. Yeah, it sucks even worse for sports. Watching actual women competing against each other might put them all on a level playing field, but it sucks for the audience to watch. Florida protects women, puts people over profit, and has no regard for the well-being of the mainstream world. It's like everyone here is hypnotized by freedom. Stupid shoot. <laughs> well, I gotta go. What are you up to? I gotta go get my 93rd booster shot. It's been almost an hour since I've had one. Starting to feel real nervous. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your slavery. I just want to say uh, something uh, quickly. Uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden has taken it to himself to try to single out Florida uh, over COVID. Uh, this is a guy who ran for president saying he was going to, quote, shut down the virus. And what has he done? He's imported more virus from around the world by having a wide open southern border. You have hundreds of thousands of people pouring across every month. And it's not just from Mexico, in fact, it's really from Mexico. You have over a hundred different countries where people are pouring through. Not only are they letting them through, they're then farming them out all across our communities across this country, putting them on planes, putting them on buses. You think they're being uh, worried about COVID for that? Of course not. So he's facilitating, he knows what new variants are out there, but I can tell you, whatever variants are around the world, they're coming across that southern border. And so he's not shutting down the virus, he's helping to facilitate it in our country. And what is his big solution? What is he so upset about Florida? His solution is he wants to have the government force kindergartners to wear masks in school. He doesn't believe the parents should have a say in that. He thinks that should be a decision for the government. Well, I can tell you in Florida, the parents are going to be the ones in charge of that decision. And one of the major uh, medical people in his administration just recently told parents that they should be wearing masks at home when they're around their own children. This is insane. 
Joe Biden also believes that vaccination should be mandated by force of government and that you should have to show vaccination status to be able to participate in society. Now, Florida, we're very proud of our seniors first strategy. You look at the mortality in nursing homes among seniors, it's declined dramatically. But we said from the beginning, we're going to make it available for all but we're not gonna mandate it on anybody. That's ultimately an individual's choice to be able to do it. Biden, he rejects science because he denies the fact that people that recover from COVID have long lasting immunity. And that's been proven time and time again and the data is very clear. So his vision is just like in New York City, restaurants should ban young kids from being able to go in because they're not eligible for vaccination and law-abiding citizens have to produce proof of their medical records just to go to the gym or attend an event or just to participate in everyday society. He wants that, but yet if you want to vote, he thinks it's too much of a burden to show a picture ID when you're voting. So no voter ID, but have to show your medical papers just to be able to live an everyday life. Give me a break. And so I think the question is, is we can either have a free society or we can have a biomedical security state. And I can tell you, Florida, we're a free state. People are going to be free to choose to make their own decisions about themselves, about their families, about their kids' education, and about putting food on the table. And Joe Biden suggests that if you don't do lockdown policies, then you should, quote, get out of the way. But let me tell you this. If you're coming after the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in your way. I'm not going to let you get Gee. away with it. If you're trying to deny kids a proper in-person education, I'm going to stand in your way, and I'm going to stand up for the kids in Florida. If you're trying to restrict people, impose mandates, if you're trying to ruin their jobs and their livelihoods and their small business, if you are trying to lock people down, I am standing in your way and I'm standing for the people of Florida. So why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you.